To begin this adventure, we are gonna tell you that entering into a private property, lost or not, it's illegal. And some of the lost places are highly secure. There are some others that are just abandoned by their owners, and nature took place. These are the ones we are feeling more freely to visit, and in this episode, we are gonna show you two lost places we could enter in, and four just from around because of the security cameras and vigilance. We will also visit a beautiful town called Gwedlinburg, a traditional and middle-aged treasure, all located in Harz, in the East German Lower Saxony region. Our friends Bene and Miri came with us to enjoy the exciting weekend. As you can see, this property has been vandalized for years, as there's no security around it. We don't have a lot of information about it, but the first building seemed to have three floors and a large amount of classrooms. The second building was apparently where the smaller kids were going. As we walked in, we found several paintings with flower motives and an atmosphere that resembled a kindergarten or a preschool. The only things left in this building were a couple of wardrobes, but the ceiling was falling on the third floor so we couldn't keep on exploring further on. It is sad to see how buildings that had done such an amazing social task could be vandalized like that. We don't encourage this kind of behavior and we do not touch, break or take anything we see. Let the nature do its way. Exploring can be an amazing thing if you respect your surroundings. Where are we, Philip? This is an old school, a lost place.
our path led us to one of the most famous lost places in Germany, the school for Nazi elite Napola in Ballenstedt. In the year 1936, Napolas, which means National Politic Schools, were built by the NSDAP to indoctrinate kids who were growing in the Third Reich and to create the future leaders of National Socialism. It is highly secure with cameras, lasers and guard dogs. And that's why we couldn't go in. Nowadays it has no use. But it is remained intact as a museum. The movie Napola about its story was filmed there in 2004. Not so far from Napola, we found an abandoned lung clinic next to an old half-timbered ruined house a traditional German building from the southeast. The clinic was highly guarded with cameras and we couldn't approach it much. The house was too destroyed to even try to go inside, but its important structure was still standing and showing us how, in some other time, this might have been a very opulent residence. Quedlinburg is one of the most beautiful middle-aged towns from the Harz region. Its stone-paved streets and half-timbered houses remind of the Bronze Age and the era of kings and queens long forgotten. Especially in winter times, where the village shines in its Christmas-themed vibes, almost taken from an old child's tale. Let yourself embrace to this idyllic town and enjoy it with a warm glue vine. <laughs> okay. No puedes, no puedes cerrar la puerta. No puedes cerrar la puerta. Das ist die Frage, ob ich jetzt hier so weit reinfahren sollte eigentlich, ne? So ein bisschen auffällig. The Rammelburg Castle dates back to 992, where it initially was built as a small fortress. It kept on changing hands, owners and forms until 1903, after a major fire that destroyed most of its foundation. It was rebuilt in a neo-Renaissance style, as we can see right now. Its last use was a rehabilitation clinic for young people with physical and mental impairments. And although in 1995 there were plans to transform it into a hotel, the major costs have left the project on standby since then. As you can see, we also couldn't get in, because apparently the new owner was in the middle of renovating it. It was also heavily guarded.
As we approached this unknown kids clinic, which was also a lost place, Philip realized that a car was parked close by and we had to stop our adventure here. to find a lost place today because everything was closed. Now, nah, Philip, you think we make it now? Yeah, this time we can make it. What is this for a place, you know? No idea, actually. We're going to find out in a second. <laughs> This giant colossus of cement looked weird and blocky, but it once was a very modern, and may we say swanky, vacation spa for families during the 1960s to late 80s. It was consequently closed after the fall of the Berlin Wall and the reunification of East and West Germany. Researching old photos gives a very unique perspective on how opulent it must have been during its heyday. We couldn't believe how big it was inside. Walking through the dark passages and seeing only rebar and foundation proved a degradation that was common during this trip. We wondered how these grand halls must have looked back in the time when it wasn't really abandoned yet. Ja, ja. Aber hier merkst du auch, es gibt ja diesen, es gibt ja diesen Effekt, das nennt sich dieser Broken, Broken Window Effekt. Wenn du ein Haus an der Straße siehst, was verlassen ist, aber es ist komplett heil, dann bleibt es auch so. Wenn jemand ein Fenster einschlägt, kommt jemand anderes und sieht aus, das Fenster eingeschlagen, schlägt das nächste ein. Und so kommt jemand rein, guck mal, haben wir schon zu treten, fangen die an zu zertreten, mehr zu randalieren. Und das, wird immer exponentiell schlimmer und schlimmer, je schlimmer ja, das Gebäude ja. aussieht. Jetzt kommt jemand rein, guck mal, ist das schon kaputt und hauen hier irgendwas die Wände kaputt. Ja, das stimmt. Das ist sehr schade. Sehr, sehr schade. Warum geht es noch die Treppe hoch? Oh, da gehen wir hoch. Das kann richtig, richtig gefährlich sein. Das ist das erste Dach.
Laura, reißt ihn mal ab. Nö. Und dann leck dran. <lacht> ist frisch. Dann geht es nachher an der Zunge fest. <lacht> Klassik. Wow. Oh, krass. Schisch. Richtig cool ist nicht. Auch als die Eisprinzessin. <lacht> Let it go. <lacht> oh, no. oh. Ich sehe. Die Wege sind mannigfaltig hier. Mannigfaltig. Money. After this journey from guarded lost place to another, we decided to take a long and relaxing hike in the mountains. Seeing the snow and feeling the breeze high up was incredibly soothing, and we got to be so close to nature again. An absolute dream. Living in a sprawling, bustling city is nice, but hiking in the snowy mountains region of the Harz is something else. Remember to like and subscribe.